in the ones column. That's where you always start. I see a group to 10 here. Do you see it? So 10 and that would be 18. I'm going to put down the 8, carry the 110 to the next column. Looking for a group to 10. Here I have 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 plus 6 is 10. So this makes a 10 here, and I can do 18 again. Again, I have to put down the 8, carry the 1, which is really to the hundreds column this time. Um, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 and 5 is 10, so we have this as a 10 combination, and one more is 11. Put down the 1, carry the 1 that's in the 10th position on this, pit, on this one. And now I have a 1 and a 9 is 10, and a 7 and 3 make 10, so this is 10 and 20. The thousand column takes the zero, and the two bumps forward to the, uh, the next column, which is the ten thousands. And it is just dropped to the answer. So now, there was a lot of addition going on there, 20,188. There are no groups to ten that I see. We could take this five and we could split it to possibly uh, a 2 and a 3 using the one of the 2's here with one of the 8's. This makes a 10. We could further split the 3 to a 1 plus a 2 and use a 2 and this 8. That's another 10, so now we're at 20. We could use this 1 and the 9 to make 30. And that would be it because we've already split the 5 and used it. Did you, did you notice what I did? Splitting this 5, I used 5 plus 2 for the, for the 10 here. I did a plus 2, I did a plus 2 here, and I did a plus 1 there. So it's 10, 20, 30. 30 is way too big. I'm going to put down the 0 and carry the 3. Here I have a 3 plus 7 gives a 10, so we could go 17 and then 18. 18 is too large, so I'm going to use the 8 and carry the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, 13, 14, 15. 15 needs to be split into 1,580. Splitting these numbers using part of a number to couple with uh, another number like these 8s and 9s is very helpful when you're trying to make your groups of 10s. Great strategy.